What is up bros and welcome back and I hope you're ready to go ham with this mid-season update in this video because we have everything from insane new vault prompts that showed up, new spawn kills, and of course new Tachanka tricks that are going to make the enemy rage and give you free kills. So let's not waste any time here and let's get right into it. This one here is for the attackers and we're giving them the secret vault up prompt to get on top of the garage roof. Now by facing straight south on the east edge of the red car, you can actually get this vault prompt to jump six feet up like it's a huge jump and then you're going to be on top of the garage. I feel like this has to be a newer vault prompt that wasn't there before because I feel like there's no way that it would stay hidden for this long. But whatever, now we know and it is insane. This one here is celebrating the new gun switch for Oryx where he now has the T5 from Legion and Malusi. There are so many strong runouts that I've already covered with Oryx and you can definitely expect more to come since now he has the better gun with the 1.5 times. But before he just had the MP5 without any magnification so it was really hard for me to pick him over a dock or a rook but now that he has this gun that is a lot more fun to play with for his style in my opinion you are going to see a lot more tears from people that do not like runouts in upcoming videos ever since the cafe rework has come out it's been one of my favorite maps and not just for the style of the map but for the variety of spawn peaks that there have been this is another new one that was recently found and it's so perfect for Goyo or Cade because this can be set up with literally two shots. This spawn peak leads to one of the highest traffic areas for attackers to come from. It's nearly impossible to see and realize where the shot is coming from and while you're holding this angle it's in a spot that's right next to sight and the odds of you dying while you're trying to spawn peak are next to none. This 6739 IQ bandit and mute counter is one that is using fuse to take advantage of the new shrapnel explosion effects that came to us last season. When you have a wall that has batteries or mute jammers on, you'll need to just check to see if the floor is soft on each side of the reinforced wall. If so, you can simply place a fuse cluster charge down on the floor just like how you would a thermite charge for the thermite trick. From there, just set the cluster charge off and you will have them bouncing all around right below you and you're gonna get any devices on the other side. Now, what's crazy about this is I haven't found a place yet that actually does damage to players or fully destroys the floor. So it must just be those tiny little shrapnel particles that are just flying up and around and for whatever reason it gets gadgets. So yeah, this is just a huge brain tactic that has recently been discovered and I cannot wait to see what you guys find with it too. If you have a shield on border, you now have the option to create about five new angles and two new spawn peaks that are really unexpected right now. For whatever reason, vault options seem to change with each update in Siege, and right now you can use shields in a way to vault over and land on the books here on border. From there, you can spawn peak south and west as well as create angles to east stairs, west balcony, and even through the windows on south balcony. Now Gridlock really has never gotten much love in the form of tips and tricks but I saw this on reddit and thought that they might be onto something. A creative alternative way to use her is to place her gadget high up on objects in order to get those pack of three spikes on each walkway where defenders might be roaming or crossing paths from. This one here on skyscraper is a great example of the potential of it and how many paths it can block. We've done this barbed wire trick before such as downstairs on clubhouse or spawn peeking by the circle desk on consulate and now it's Chalet's turn where we find that the bar is the perfect height to place some barbed wire on to create the 1000 different pixel peaks that barbed wire create when you look through them. The barbed wire angles are still some of the funniest ways to get kills and you already know that they're going to be screaming waking up their parents at 4am because of this. So taking advantage of DMR's new 3x scope, we have this nasty angle that goes through nearly the entirety of bank. Now this also does work pretty easily with 2x scopes and you might even find it easier if you're someone like Zofia because it will be easier for you to open up the soft walls in between. What I started doing when I'm playing bank is I normally just vault up here and then pre-fire through the walls. Sometimes you can catch people late reinforcing the hatches. And I know that one of these days I'm going to wall bang somebody across the map using this. On Chalet, you're going to find this destructible barrel downstairs and if you carefully just break the right side, 
you're going to be able to shimmy your way up the barrel and then lean left to get this insane angle that goes outside towards the first snowmobile outside of the garage. This angle is nearly impossible to spot from the attacking point of view and since this is one of the most common entry points downstairs for defense, you're going to be getting free kills the whole round. I really like when I learn things that have been in the game since the beginning of time and this right here is a great example. Now by using literally any operator and having a shield being a plus, you can place the shield in the doorway and archives and then prone and lean left while you're under the desk to get an angle in between the desk and the bomb for an insane head level shot. Now you might have seen some crazy Tachanko launcher spawn peaks floating around online like Twitter and Reddit, but trying to be real, I don't see those really happening pretty much at all. By the time the across the map launches get to the spawn, the attackers will have moved unless they had stayed on a drone or become AFK, and you'll only do slight damage at best, especially when considering the area of effect isn't too large. Now where I do believe Tachanka has the potential to be extremely oppressive while keeping that same trickshot style is by delaying the time like smoke and you guys already know i'm not against across the map shots at all but i do like there to be some level of realism to it so keeping that in mind this is one that i saw on twitter first and it has a ton of potential to delay the main breach that attackers need to get open when we're defending cctv on clubhouse now even though it won't destroy hard breaches that are already placed it will stop an attacker from placing the charge or entering the open wall at all now there are multiple spots that you can get really creative with your entry denial for Tachanka's new launcher so I'm gonna include two more awesome spots that Royal Penguin taught me but I am really looking forward to seeing what else we're gonna come up with in the near future. Alright, so now we are taking a look at the huge brain maverick counter that Get Flanked created with the new Tachanka launcher and by simply destroying a line at the bottom of the soft wall before reinforcing, which literally only takes 2 seconds now with Tachanka's LMG, you can simply shoot the launcher into any of the holes that maverick creates to have them roll down inside of the wall and create a huge base of fire to burn anybody that's on the outside of the wall. This not only delays a huge amount of time, but even if you run out of launchers, there's still a really good chance that the Maverick lines will be botched from him leaving and coming back, and he'll have to spend extra time and utility to fix it all while being lower HP than before. This honestly is super game changing for Maverick, and we might see him be completely shut down in some circumstances. Anyways, bra fam, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I do have some really spicy videos coming up that I truly cannot wait to show you. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and you can always change your mind later on. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. I love you all. Peace.